basically what has happened is that uh, one of my employees told me yesterday they heard something last night the dog started barking um, they didn't think anything of it but this morning when they got out they saw that in the washroom there was a small little gray dacre killed by a certain predator which they thought was a lynx at that stage um, so they thought they would try and uh, sort of find out what it was they've set a trap and uh, I've just got a call now to say that uh, the lynx has turned into uh, a young leopard and um, now I just want to see the age of the leopard and then we're going to try and release it uh, back into the wild it's a little bit dangerous but uh, let's just have a look and then um, see what happens there's a young leopard I'm just going to walk up. Looks like a female. Yeah, it's definitely a youngster. And that's a small one making that noise. Yes. Now you can imagine what a big, a big one does. Nothing too serious, just a little leopard. <laughs> Do you often have this, this sort of thing in your back garden? Often. No, this is the first one. We haven't been here. Wait, wait. Uh, two weeks ago it was a, a porcupine and uh, today it's a leopard. Yes. Maybe in three days we'll have a baby elephant in, in, in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> so how are we going to be fast enough to open the gate and then all run back to the car so that uh, she doesn't attack us? Charlie, that's your job. Is it my job? <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here, without getting hurt. I've got a rope, yeah. Is it a long one? Yeah. Not that long. I think definitely one guy, I don't want anybody on the back of the vehicle. Could we be all inside uh, the vehicle? One, you guys can go into, one guy can go into the car, no problem. Yeah. But the other guy into the vehicle, uh, into the house. Because on the back is too dangerous. Quite right too. Um, I got a car. Okay. We tie that around. I will just put it on top. I wonder what I want to do is that. Holy crap! That iron beam I want to put across here. Tie that rope. Put it around that and see if we can pull it like that. It's a female. Shush. We want to release you. Calm down, man. The decision is made to move the leopard to a position where we can release her. Even knowing there's a lot of metal work between me and her, every bone in my body is saying, keep away. But I need to lend a helping hand. We are confident that Mark knows what he's doing. He has been dealing with dangerous game all his professional life. Sensibly, we take cover in the house and leave the camera to capture the leopard's run for freedom. A few slippers are thrown as encouragement and finally she's off. Once she's disappeared into the night, we're bold enough to venture out, but Mark decides to end the evening by giving me a heart attack. There it is, come <laughs> <laughs> I was, was alright, I don't know what, I didn't panic, but you did. Well, I was about to say, I'm going to have to kill you. Uh, <laughs> I hate you. Uh, <laughs> I hate you more than ever, anybody. It's terrible. High size bag. What a successful release. Yes. That is the most frightening thing, when that cat comes straight out to you. So what you're telling me now is, as soon as <laughs> the sun goes down, nobody's going out the house Terrible. anymore. No. I may have got out on the gullible side of the bed this morning. Mark's farm manager shows us the washroom where he found the diker. Start falling over and then I had to come and have a look. Find the diker in here. Well, we have badges in here, back room, but we don't have diker with leopards on them. <laughs> no. That's well, definitely a first for me also. Good. <laughs> I just want to know about your shoes, Kali. If what we can just zoom in on those shoes. Uh, are they leopard proof? Those are definitely leopard proof they shoes. Are, are they? <laughs> I'm, quite, I'm quite fast in these ones. <laughs> Should be leopard skin. <laughs> <laughs> the leopard skin is underneath his pants. But yeah. <laughs> 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 A 
leopard's not really something you'd want around when there are children about. Happily, no one is hurt. This leopard gets to fight another day and will hopefully know now to keep her distance. 